What is up, YouTube? Janky Yu-Gi-Oh! here. My name is Michael, and today I'm going to be playing Troop Doop Scoop, the newest version. No, the Hits to Brilliant Fusion uh, really crippled the deck. And... I'm not gonna lie to you, this deck is a shell of its former self, but it can still do powerful things. Hopefully, my opponent here doesn't make too big of a scary board, or too, to really, like, break. Alright, so what is, what did I put it playing? AD changer, you can banish this, change the battle position. Okay. Oh. Well, okay. Let's push burial, and we're gonna send Thousand Blade. Uh, I didn't mean to. Oh uh, well, whatever. Summon Scorpio, Scorpio effect. We're gonna summon Cobra. All right, so. I have to do it this way, uh, otherwise I'm not getting a Thousand Blades effect, because Thousand Blades effect can miss timing. Um, let's use this to draw a card. Okay. Now... And we're gonna make the old classic star you Jeff. Okay. Do 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 time for the reason the deck exists. Our trooper. Machine duplication. Boom, boom. And now we start going to town. I milled a malicious. Um, no more. Hat tricker. Last mills. Okay, I milled another destiny here malicious. It kinda sucks. So now gonna summon this. Gonna special summon this. Malicious. Um, so since I'm pushing for game, I'll just, I'll still make Nat Beast. I was gonna say I should make, um, something else. Honestly, the Phantom Beast token is only there to go into Saryuja, because it doesn't really help me link climb. This. Okay. My phone's deck is uh, a little bit tricky, apparently. And that's it. So, as you can see, the deck is still OTK pretty good. Uh, but that's Troop Dupe Scoop. Let's check out the new deck profile. Alright, so the deck profile is 
three Destiny Hero Maliciouses. You know why. Summons more fodder for linking. Uh, two Trick Clowns. Because Trick Clown. Uh, it, as you saw, it's another card that it hits the graveyard, comes back. Uh, Damage Juggler. It, Damage Juggler is one of those cards that it's like really good no matter where it's at. Unless it's in the deck, of course. If it's in the graveyard, banish it, get a search. If it's in your hand, it can save your life. Uh, we got Thousand Blade. Thousand Blade is, you know, we got the whole Clown Blade engine, essentially. We got all the clowns and this. This is for special summoning, and it gets you to Nat Beast. Uh, Time Thief Fusel Ship is another monster that you can summon, and uh, the best way to summon this is if you didn't mill anything good off of uh, your 9 from your card troopers, except for maybe this. You can, uh, you make Dante, and then you detach uh, the second material after milling 3 from Dante to uh, get another monster out to keep Link summoning. 3 Scorpios. Uh, just because, you know, Scorpio gets you to instant fusion and gets you another monster out. Uh, three, uh, three Lone Fires to get the Scorpio. Or if you normal summon the Scorpio and then you make the Saryuja, uh, Lone Fire can get you to the Glow Pull. Uh, three card troopers, it's the reason I made the deck. And as you saw from earlier, that it's really good in general. Uh... One of this, I'm probably going to cut it. It it doesn't do much. Either I'm going to cut it or I'm going to mess with my extra deck later. Just because it it doesn't do as much as it used to. Uh, especially because I need... um Because I noticed the flaw while playing this deck. But two Plague Spreaders. Plague Spreader, Mali. Classic combo that I really like. And because like... And I, funny enough, you can use Plague Spreader. I've done this to Stefan a lot. Use Plague Spreader, put back like a Globe Bulb, uh, the Globe Bulb on top of the deck, or and then mill it with Card Trooper, or put a Mali on top of the deck. And if you have Globe Bulb or Card Trooper out, you just mill the Maliciouses. Uh, two its infusions. Hits you out the Mud Dragon of the Swamp. Uh, normally, I would replace this with something else. Probably a. Um, I'd probably replace it. Uh, replace it with Brilliant Fusion if I could. But I can't, so it's in the deck. And I tried it. I tried, you know, just having this. Here and it it didn't it didn't do anything. I really needed the extra card or the extra monster summon. Uh, three machine dupes because card trooper and machine dupe are the reason I made the deck. Upstart for consistency and playing a thirty nine card deck is fine. Uh, card destruction because most of my cards want to be in the graveyard. Foolish burial sets up plays. Monster reborn because reviving stuff is nice. Three called by the graves because Ash will destroy this deck. So you gotta main deck this. Uh, if you are playing this deck and you get Ash, you just kind of stop playing. Uh, Nibiru, the primal being, is another card you guys will have to look out for. That can that card can wreck your shop, and it doesn't doesn't get hit by called by the grave. But that card. Wrecks everything, so. Uh, Rise of the Full Heights in here. Because Rise of the Full Height, uh, you can mix with Cyframe Lord Omega. Or time, the Time Thief uh, Redoer once. Well, Cyframe Lord Omega is a permanent. You can't attack me. As long as uh, both, as long as Cyframe Omega stays on the field. Time Thief Redoer is a one-time thing. Where it's like, you can't do it once, and sometimes stalling one turn is enough to just kill him. 
uh, we got breakthrough skill. I am a firm believer in having one of this in the deck just because originally I put it in there kind of as filler and it was a card that was fine in the graveyard. But last regionals I went to with Troop Duke Scoop, there was someone playing the warrior, last warrior from another planet. And if you don't know what that card does, it says neither player can summon. And I just happened to draw the breakthrough skill and it was like the only reason I didn't lose to that deck, funny enough. It's, they won the die roll. So they went first and they're like, okay, well, I will, uh, I'll do all this stuff. And then I'm like, oh, well, uh, I was just lucky I drew breakthrough skills because they're like, you can't summon. <laughs> this, but Dragon of the Swamp, just because, like, it's, it, it can make Nat Beast is one reason. It's also decent fodder for, um, just for link summoning. So yeah. Uh, Cypher and Lord Omega. Because Omega is a really good card. And I'm so glad this card... I'm actually really glad this card went to 1. When this card got announced that it's going to 1, I was like, good. Uh, Coral Dragon. This card, people are like, why don't you take out? This card unbricks hands. It breaks boards. And it draws you a card if you're linking, if you like, you can, like, use Plague Spreader. It, yeah, it does a lot, actually, which is great. Uh, Nat Beast, lots of decks just cannot beat Nat Beast, and it's fantastic. Uh, Utopia the Lightning. So, this deck actually struggles with, um, so... If your opponent can get over everything, right, this deck can struggle with beating monsters, like those big super boss monsters that are like, can't be targeted or destroyed by card effects. So yeah, uh, and or, and or unaffected. So, Utopia the Lightning helps you get out of situations like that. Redoer is, like, a watered down version of Omega. And it, it's a fine card. I haven't made it as much lately as I did when I first put it in the deck. So maybe this is subject to change. At least this one is. This card. Uh, Baguska is plan B. <laughs> All else fails. Make Baguska on the, in defense. And that's it. Like, it's not a beautiful plan. But it is one. Uh, Castiel. Castel. I don't make this card often, but the times I do make it, I'm glad I have it. This is like utility for it. Abyss Dweller, if you're going first, your ideal field is like Abyss Dweller, Nat Beast, and then Omega with Asari Yuja. So that is. And I say Asari Yuja because. That's most likely the only way you got there. Um, but Fist Dweller plus Nat Beast, there's a lot of decks that once you get those two cards out, they just instantly lose. So, and I realized that when, uh, funny enough, when Stefan was playing the deck and he made his changes, they went Abyss Dweller, uh, Nat Beast, and I went, I don't, I can't. I can't beat that with most of my deck, with a lot of my decks. So I was like, okay, well, I guess I'm gonna put this dweller in my in my version. Dante. Sometimes you need to mill twelve instead of nine. Oral of Dragon. Steal stuff, can mess up, and is an answer to things. Is overall great. Oral Sword Dragon. OTK machine. That's that's basically what it is there for. Sorry, you, Jeff. Draws you cards is great advantage. I shouldn't have to tell you how great of a card Sorry, you, Jeff, is. I'm still in the camp. It shouldn't be banned. Even though it does a bunch of things. Uh, 
Last thing is a rare Aroma Seraphy Jasmine. And this card I'm going to take out because I put it in when Brilliant Fusion was a thing. And I'm going to put in stuff that opens up more link slots and is more generic like uh, Proxy Dragon or something. Just so that when I have this out, like, like you saw in the duel... I could have made like a proxy dragon instead of uh I could have made proxy dragon with the token and that and then just I wouldn't I would have been better off basically is what I'm trying to say. So they would have been able to do a little bit more had I had like something like proxy where it's just generic uh two that opens up some more slots. And I don't need ones that point uh bottom left, bottom right. In this deck, as you can see, I can throw out monsters like it's no one's business. I need ones that point left and right, most likely. But anyway, that is it for today. If it is your birthday today, happy birthday. If you want to send us any cool deck profiles, replays, our emails in the description, please do so. I will feature them on the channel, and I will go over them as best as I can. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Helps with the YouTube algorithm. The more comments we get, the more YouTube will recommend our videos. And of course, have a wonderful day.